Hi everyone, I have an update on that Timu diamond painting that came crushed in that last uh, unboxing video that I did. Um, and I also have four of the nine, I think, nine or ten, I think, yeah, yeah, it was, it was nine. <laughs> Four of those that I'm going to open up today that came also in that same shipment of that previous video that I just did. So stick with me and you'll get to hear what happened with it. Hi everyone. I am so happy to have you here. Um, <laughs> I do have a great update, really good news. They did, Timu's customer service is great. Now, this was the very first thing that I had gotten from Timu that had come damaged. And as a diamond painter, we all know how horrible it feels to open up uh, a book, uh, your diamond painting that you've ordered and it's crushed. It was just uh, deflating. And I'm so happy to know, to know that they have great customer service because when I went and I, I took pictures of it and I went and I looked on their site and it they made it really easy to report the item came damaged and they refunded my money. I uploaded a picture or two pictures, and they were finding my money right then, and I didn't have to send it back. What a great customer service. Now, I am very happy. So, yay! It turned out to be a yay. You know, I'm really bummed that, you know, it's going to, it's still going to be bad. I mean, I really, you know, I, I hate to waste things. Because that that's a, just a total waste of something. Now, I did get kind of uh, some negative comments about how I felt about, you know, um, opening it up and seeing that it was like that and being so bummed about it. Now, I may have overreacted. And I apologize if y'all feel like I overreacted. Um, it's very important to me as a product reviewer especially mainly for diamond paintings and crafts that I know there's people out there that tell me they are so happy to know that there's somebody out there that is trying out these these companies before they order. They can look and see, should I waste my money on something that may not come, you know. Now, you risk that any time that you order okay you risk your money every time you order <clears throat> and buddy i've been scammed believe me i've been scammed by some things and i've got one product that i'm probably going to do a, a video on um uh, to warn people not to buy it not to buy that uh, or do anything with that company because it is a scamming company found that out with a lot of research but I'm very careful not to post it, post information like that if I'm not sure. Now, I do know it happened to me. And I do know that there's a whole lot of people out there that it happened to them with the same company. So I can feel a little bit more care, uh, okay to, to, to show what happened to me. And my followers and my subscribers and people like that, are not going to trust me if I give a sugar-coated review just because I like a company and I want to make sure I keep getting stuff from that company and just love the company. Now, granted, that was the only thing that was messed up in that box. If you could call it a box. <laughs> it was all squished and everything. But, and I understand that it's not the company's fault if their factory workers are smushing things in the box. In a way it is though, because they should have quality control people to watch over and make sure that things have been properly done. Now, with that said, it could have been like a lot of you had 
um, expressed to me that it could have been customs. Customs could have done that. You know, they may be the ones that opened it up to look through it and crammed it all back in there. And, you know, that is a, that's a solid argument. You know, so I did need to kind of wait a minute and say, let me make sure, let me, let me handle this. But I think what it was, was the other times when I've had bad pain, bad situations, uh, damaged things, or missing drills, missing diamonds in the actual pack, I have tried to get other companies to send those missing drills. There are some that some companies on AliExpress that absolutely will bust a gut to get you your diamonds back. I mean, diamonds that you're missing. Then I've had some lie to me. Literally lie to me. Oh, hun, don't worry. And they, that's how they spell it. H-O-N. Don't worry. We send in. We shipped. Never showed up. Never showed up. And I asked them. Then they got to where they just would ignore me. And I gave them a month and a half before I even told them that it wasn't here yet. Because I know there's... It takes from AliExpress a good month and a half or whatever. And then they have holidays a lot of times. And you and I learned that, that there's certain months of the year that you're going to, you're not going to get your stuff packaged and shipped because they have holidays that we don't have. And so you have to be very patient with a lot of this stuff. And, you know, and I guess being it, being a new company, I was all excited because the smaller ones come really well and then I ordered some things I want to see if a larger one would come and then it it was just very disappointing for me so um and then I had someone that told me that I needed to let it go and that my I didn't pay much for it anyways and no matter what they're they're gonna be Timu um fans which Yay, I'm a Timu fan still, even though I got something damaged. I was just worried that how their customer service was going to be about it. Because I have run into some hard to try to get my stuff made right, you know. Um, but I think that's what it was. I think I was dreading more of the process of having to report it and seeing if they were going to make good on it and, you know, that type of worry. I think that's what hit me the most on it, and I was just very disappointed. Now, my money, however little I paid, is is important. It is important, whether it's one penny or $200. My husband, I stay at home, and through the Lord's blessing, has given my husband a job, which is brick masonry. It is a back, literally, back-breaking hard job for every little penny he gets. Okay, I don't take that lightly. Oh, I just didn't. I didn't pay much for it. My husband works in in the summertime it gets to 115 degrees with the heat index and he'll he'll be picking sometimes block that there's oversized block and it takes two hands to put it up over his head over his head over his head all day long all day long and then when it's just a little brick it's all day long hunched over putting brick in the wall and each brick each cent depends on each little brick he puts in the wall. And it gets so hot on them. There's no sun most of the time. There's no sun. And sometimes when they're, they're breaking up side the wall where the roof comes down, the heat boils off of that hot roof down onto them. On top of the sun okay so um, he literally has lost from the being bent over since he was in high school working uh, doing brick work 
that he's lost the majority of the curve of his lower back. He has no curve in his neck. He's lost it. It's 100% gone. So, I do take offense when someone says, Oh, you didn't spend, it wasn't a lot. Get over it. Okay. No, I'm not going to get over it. Because my husband works very hard for every little cent, every little penny that comes in to our bank account. Okay. And it's not fair to my viewers and my subscribers, which this person's probably done, turned me off now and and unsubscribe because this person warned that if I went on and on about Timus in this situation, they would unsubscribe. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not for everybody, I guess. But my viewers want an honest review. I opened the box just... I mean, you saw me open the box with you, and I was just as surprised as y'all were when y'all saw it. So, I want you to know that I, and I have told people, businesses that have contacted me, and have tried to tell me what to say, and give pictures in reviews and things, and I tell them right off the bat, I do honest reviews, I do not, I do not use what you tell me to say, I will do, open it and and just like a regular consumer and I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie about it. Okay. I was upset and I think I have a right to be upset. Um, I know some people thought it was just overboard and it may have been and I'm, I really apologize. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but you know, in this day and age, it doesn't matter what you say. Somebody's going to get upset and they're going to they're going to comment ugly things to you. So, you know, I've, I've been to high school and I've dealt with people with high school drama. I've dealt with narcissists that are just bullies, you know, tell you what to do. And it's all water off of ducks back for me. I, I, I can move on. So I am so happy to announce and re uh, give you the update that it is completed. The return was, uh, I didn't have to return it, but the uh, they returned my money and I can go on. And I will order some more long, longer, bigger diamond paintings just to see if this was just one in an instant. Um, I have one of the representatives that I have on um, my Facebook Messenger that I can actually um, explain it to, and that may help them with uh, quality control. With that said, I'm very pleased and I'm happy that they did make good on it. And oh, my shirt's all messed. This is my Sundancer Art Gallery shirt. Um, I'm going to my booth today. Just really quick, we're going camping, so I wanted to get this done really quick before I go. <laughs> So, because I know you're you're all waiting to see if they had it, what happened with it. Now I do have the these um, diamond paintings. We're going to get into. I may go through them pretty quickly uh, because I we have to go camping at lunchtime today. We're going to be moving out camping. I'm going to try to get this up today. So um, bear with me. I may go a little quick just so I can get get it up for you. So I'm going to. Lower you down so you can see the diamond paintings as I open them. Whoops. Let's see if that's good. I don't want it on my... Okay. I hope that that is a good angle right there. And I'm going to open up this one. This one is going to be... Um, this is not, it's partial, and it's a kitty cat with rhinestones, you know. It's got the special drills in there, and you can see those wonderful, um, you know, in there. And I'm going to open that up in a second. But yet, yeah, we have the, the normal, basic thing. 
and it is folded pretty good. But these folds are not too, too bad. They do come out. The only thing is with a uh, partial, the only thing that is sticky is these areas here. This isn't sticky at all right here, okay? Only where diamonds are going to be. And I'm going to make sure, yep, there's only little little ones right in here. But um, that's sticky. This is sticky, but this isn't, okay? And so it really is important that this does not have any kind of wrinkles like that other painting did because you can't hide them under diamonds and a lot of times you, you can't hide them anyways even with diamonds if they're really deep in there now there's a, a kind of a crease right there a sharper crease you can kind of see that in the light right there but I'm sure I can get that out as I you know, lay it flat under something. So yeah, and I actually put that other diamond painting under something to try to flatten it out and it still has those creases in there and it will, and they're deep enough to where it's gonna make your diamonds look all wonky, so. But it's okay, they gave me my money back. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry, I'm good. Okay, now here are the diamonds. I just love doing these. These are really quick to do. I do them on speed painting sometimes on, on here on the channel. And it's sort of like a relaxing thing to, to see um, someone go from start to finish really quick. <laughs> and see, you can see this is the diamond. These are diamond, um, you know, rhinestones, um, special drills. ABs is what they call them. And this has got that Aurora Borealis. It's white. And it's a, a pearl. It looks like a pearl. And then here is blue with that Aurora Borealis um, color to it. And I need to turn it over. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm sorry. So, yeah. And then here are the wonderful marquee shape. I do believe, and they they also have that Aurora Borealis, and here's a blue that's really, really, really pretty, and this is going to be a really nice kitty cat, you know, it's going to be really cute, and it only has the five colors, and I'll, I'll let you see the, the symbols in just a second, so, so, so now, excuse me, I can't talk, so, I had someone tell me that when they ordered their diamond paintings, it was a little hard to see the the actual symbols. In, and I can see how it's a little light. They're not bold. They're li it's a lighter color. And so that, yeah, that is kind of light. I don't know how that is going to... That must be this one. It's really hard to see it. Let me show you. Um, these right here. You see how light that is right there compared to the others? It's going to be kind of hard, but I have a magnifying glass with an LED light in it, and I also have a light pad that goes on behind it, and I do recommend that. that, that it makes such a big difference. And here's the symbols right here. I'm sorry, I'm moving around, you can't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can see how, what the symbols are going to be. So, there we go with the, the kitty cat and that. Okay, now we're going to do the next one. I always have the hardest time finding the little opening areas. There it is. <laughs> This one is a full drill. It, I do believe it is round. Yep, the, yep. Okay, there's the thing. 
I spat that out at me, didn't it? <laughs> and um, oh, the other one, item HB117 is on HB117 on there. So I know that it goes with that kitty cat. Okay, now this is sort of uh, blurry, but that's just the pattern. Whenever I do it, I hope that it's not too small to see the details. Sometimes when you get these 30 by 40s or 30, 30 by 30s and you have a whole body of somebody, it can get, or animal, it can get hard to see, you know. And from what I'm seeing here, I'm not really concerned about the, there is a few little crinkles in there, but I don't think they're sharp ones. You know, you can see that. And that'll just come out whenever I, Lay something under it, and I, I left an air hole there, and I'll, I'll fix that in a minute. You know, I don't want to just go so fast. I don't want to go so fast that it's aggravating for you to watch. And there is glitter in this, and remember, you can pull it, and that kind of helps. Don't pull too hard. But yeah, and get this air hole out of this side. You can see where it makes an air hole when there's a little bit of a uh, pocket or a little ditch <laughs> in there. You see that air hole? And I don't like that. So, but that's just me being picky. I don't want it to um, lose its sticky. You, you know what I mean? I know I have one over here. We'll just redo it. Let's see if I can and get it down in there good. There we go. I think I did. Okay, that's good. So this one has 21 colors. That's really nice. It's going to be really pretty. Here's a picture of what it's going to be like. And you can see some of those, some of the symbols. See how that grid is? Do you see anything on there that's going to be hard to see? Is it a little too light? Some look a little light. Now let's see these symbols. It's really neat that they actually put the actual color right through here. That's that's neat. I like that. Some of them do it, some don't. But the majority do, I do believe. But it just sort of looks like they've actually put the diamonds. It almost looks like the diamonds on there. <laughs> didn't check to see if it was sticky, did I? Well, of course it's sticky with making air holes. <laughs> well, duh, Lara. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Oh, I'm, getting, but I'm getting too quick. Now, don't that feel... I mean, that looks like a lot of diamonds for this such a little, little picture. Look at this. Let's check this number. SN2900. SN2900 right there. Okay, and they have the number, this is number two, and it has the color number on here, 436. So if I, when I'm done, I can put it in where they go, I mean, my storage containers and know exactly what, col what colors of, uh, the exact place to put them, I don't know. I can't talk today, I'm trying to go too quick. <laughs> You know, I want, really want to try to get this up for y'all. Oh my goodness. All these beautiful colors. Look how pretty. Dusty rose and a dusty green. And peach. Beautiful colors. I love it. I don't want to turn it towards the window. <laughs> Hold on, what are you doing? Down here trying to make him a little nest. 
<laughs> He's making all this noise. He was dreaming last night. and I, You know how when you have to get up early and you have a lot to do, you can't seem to get your brain to shut up when you're asleep? <laughs> well, I was trying to remember everything that I needed to do. And he, I was hearing these little noises. And then it got louder, and I was like, what in the world? Frodo is having nightmares. And he's actually making noises like somebody's talking in their sleep. Poor little thing. He was literally making little whining um, nightmare sounds. And I, I'm like, what? I think that's a, I've heard him snore. I've heard dogs snoring things, and this is probably not folded correctly. But yeah, I've heard dogs snoring so loud all the way through the, the house. They would, I had a, where I lived before, I had a garage, and that, my lab that we had a, I had, she had had babies. <laughs> I breed Labradors, and don't worry, I do it responsibly. Um... They're DNA tested for all the inf all the um, diseases and things Labradors can um, carry, and they have their elbows and hips certified, and all of that stuff. And I weigh and put in. Um, each one has its own color collar, so I can make sure that they're gaining weight. And I cannot find this thing. To save my life. Where is it? Where? There it is. Um, they're all gaining weight, and I can tell if one's sick or whatever. I mean, it's a hands-on thing. But anyway, she was so tired that she was <laughs> snoring. the The Labrador was snoring. Here you go, Mom. I, I got this for my mom because on. Well, anyways, I could, I could hear the dog snoring through the house. It was so loud. But anyways, I got this from my mom because we went to the final uh, finale of The Chosen at the movie theater. And there's one scene where he's literally, re where Jesus is reaching down to get Peter and pull him up out of the waves. And where he had lost his faith and and eyesight on Jesus and sank low. And you can see the top of the boat here. He sank low, but Jesus had waves flowing under his feet and he got him up and held him. And it was so, it was such a, um, a scene that it just really, really, really touched my mom's heart. And I saw this and I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this for my mama. This is yours, mom. <laughs> it has 23 colors. It's going to be beautiful. And it looks like it's just the cover that is crinkled. It, it's already starting to straighten out really, really well. Yep, and it's got the little glitter in there. Now, how I don't know when my mom's gonna have time to do it because she's all into her crochet now. It's and it, she's producing some of the cutest things. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to do a video and show you. Okay, so we have 23 colors. The number, the serial number for this one is G195, and it says it right here. G195. Okay. So, let me open it up. Make sure that each one of these little packets have not been skipped. Now, sometimes they do come. I've only had, and all the times, I think I've only had one or two come with, with one of these skipped. And the per, the one company sent, just sent me a whole nother thing. <laughs> that was really good. So I have had some good dealings and I have had some bad dealings, which if you order enough, that's what's going to happen. And I need to know that, you know. It, but my review is honest and 
just like y'all would be, y'all would be disappointed. Some people don't let things bother them as bad as others, and I appreciate that too. So, I'm pro I mean, I'm sure that I lose subscribers along the way because some people aren't, uh, don't like people to talk about the Lord. And then there's some people that just don't want any negativity. And I understand. I totally. Now that was all the way to 23. So, yeah. We got them all in there. Some people can't take the negativity. And I absolutely get it. I totally get that. I totally understand. Because it, it's hard for me when I have negativity, it being um, lupus, when you have an autoimmune with lupus, um, stress causes you to break out and have a flare and your bones and everything do hurt. So, and I probably did not make that right, but it's okay. As so long as I've got that silver number out here and see that that tells me right there I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. But I hope mom loves that. That is gonna be beautiful. Put on, that on the side, whatever. Okay. Now here is the last one. And you probably can tell if you're someone from the 80s, you can tell by that right there what that is going to be. Before I even open it, I bet y'all guessed that one. Let's see which ones of you are correct. I know if my cousin's watching, she will know exactly what this is because she knows I love it. <laughs> now, what about that? What do you think about Holly Hobby? Now, the one that I had was the blue one, the one that was blue. This is the one I think is a little earlier than the blue one. I think this is the one my cousin had. So if she's watching, she'll I hope she'll let me know if this is the one she had. But this has 20 colors. And it is very sticky. It has the glitter in there. And I know I messed that up. Boy, howdy. I was wondering about it whenever I did it upside down. I was like, uh-uh. Now, I do have some some little deep little rivers here and there. But that, I think, will come out with a heavy book. Heavy. I buy uh, baby wipes because I use them for everything. And yeah, I buy them in bulk, in big boxes. So... Um, I'll, I'll lay those on them, and they're pretty heavy, so, on my kitchen table, so, we'll see, and I gotta commend y'all that put them under your mattress, it's always funny to me to, when I read that, they put, people put it under the mattress, <laughs> do y'all remember the kitty cat's name, that Holly Hobby had. I wonder what the kitty cat's name is. I can't remember. Maybe my cousin remembers. And it's going to be a lot of white. A lot of white. <laughs> and 20 colors. Item FH186. There we go. It had this with it. I'm sorry. I'm way back here. I'm so sorry. Just take, drag me out in the street and Slap me down. <laughs> so you can see that the numbers are on there. This one's going to be a little... Um, it might be hard to see in this area. Let me get this up there. But with the magnifying glass and the light pad, I hope that that will help that. To, to be able to see it a little better. And I'm sure the zoom or the 
the camera is seeing that a lot better than I would in my my non close up vision. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I can see some far away though. I can when I go hunting, I can see things moving. Now this is all the the white. This is 20, 20, 20, and 20. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, and 20. Let me see how nice. It is. That's going to be that background right there. Okay. And we have more 20 right here. <laughs> so we do have all our colors. We just have to make sure that each bag... Oops, I'm up here again. Each bag is filled. We have diamonds that's supposed to be in there. And I love the fact that um, I kind of like, I'm with these little pictures, I love the fact that we don't have to sort these. Because if you've ever got anything from AliExpress, some of the things are really, <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. That a lot of this is just all different packets and you have to kind of go through them so I know I probably did that wrong but that's okay all right let's get that in there and we shall be done yep I didn't do it totally right Let's get that folded behind there. There we go. That's going to work. All right. So. Okay, everyone. Now that I've been on my soapbox a little bit and, and, and things like that, I'm so happy to have a happy uh, report of what had happened with that uh, diamond painting, painting that got messed up. I just, I take it very serious. Your time, if you are looking to see whether you should be buying diamond paintings from Timu and you're wanting to see if it's worth it, if it's the truth, um, I, I take it, I, I appreciate your time that and trust that you have put in me to not sugarcoat a review. And, you know, if you can see all these little ones came just fine. They all come just fine. And so, the smaller ones always seem to do well from all, almost all companies. The larger ones is a little bit harder, and you kind of take a risk on it. And it's a good thing that they have such good customer service. I had not dealt with the customer service up until now, so this is a great, great, great way to see how it will be if it, if something comes damaged that you order. So don't worry, I'm not telling anyone not to use Timu. I think a lot of people would, thought I was doing that, doing the, like I was being anti-Timu or something like that, and I absolutely know, because there's some things that I got uh, that I get from them that I just love. So, um, but as a diamond painter, you want to make sure that what you spend your money on is going to come, hopefully, going to be worth it. And if if the the quality is is good, the only thing that um, a lot of people have had issues with, well, some of people, is sometimes the the printing of the symbols on the canvas itself uh, is hard to read. So, uh, if you have a light pad and you have an LED magnifier glass, great. That's what you need to get um, if you don't. And that will help you a lot. So, y'all can take me as serious as, as a a beetle on a on a tree limb that you don't see. <laughs> it's just beetles out there and we don't see them. We don't know what's going on. 
don't worry about me. I'm good. Um, don't let me worry you. I apologize if that was just a stressful, stressful thing. That I made it a little bit more stressful than it should have been. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Because I know y'all, I want to have a uh, good experience with anything I unbox. And I want to be a ray of light to everyone. And I kind of like got upset. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey everyone, I love you. And even though people have gotten mad at me, I still love them. I pray for them. I pray for you, each and every one of you out there, even those that have unsubscribed. I hope that the Lord protects you and makes your day wonderful. So thank you so much for being here and watching my video and taking time out of your life to let me in for just a few minutes. Thank you so much. And go ahead and buy diamond paintings from Timu. They have a great customer service. So if they come damaged, they will make good on it. And so, because some places in AliExpress won't. I love y'all. Be good. Bye. <laughs>